Hi everyone, the following is an example of how you could set up an elementary classroom on Google Classroom. Please note, I am not an elementary school teacher, so I made some examples just to hopefully give you an idea, but uh, don't critique me too harshly. I really don't know what I'm doing as far as elementary teaching goes. So um, enjoy, hopefully this is helpful. Okay, welcome to my elementary classroom example. So let's first look at this stream. And um, I put here, welcome to our digital class. Parents and students, you can post pictures or videos on our class stream. We'll be able to see each other that way. Please click on classwork above to get started on your assignments. And so here I used, I have a generic student login just so I can show you an example. And this is actually my son, Owen. And um, this would be an example of him um, reading to his brother and sister. So as you can see, that is just a quick video that students would be able to post. They could also um, post pictures. That's just taken with a cell phone video. Um, and your parents don't have to be tech savvy. So if they're not, if they don't have a camera or they don't have the ability to do this, please just reassure your parents, it's okay, it's not a big deal. Um, but if they're able to, that's a way that their classmates can see each other. All right, let's move on to classwork. So for an elementary uh, classroom, you know, again, I'm not an elementary teacher, but maybe a way that you could set up Google Classroom is to set it by date. So for instance, Thursday, uh, March 26th. First thing that I have is a book of the day. And so here is a video and um, I was just pretending to be <laughs> a classroom teacher. Hi class, hope you're doing well. I miss you so much. Today's reading, we're gonna read Dolly Parton, I Am a Rainbow. So let's get started. Okay, so you can see that you could, again, that's a cell phone video. You could just record yourself. Oh, let's close that out. You can record yourself reading a book. And then I had a sheet. This is straight from the back of the book, um, reading points. And you could have this attached for parents to look at, you know, things like starting up, look at the cover together, point to the pattern from the left to the right, reading the story, just some things for them to be able to look at as they're watching you read the book and and help their kids. And then moving down, emotions, uh, personal reflection. So this would be an assignment, a click view assignment. Um, over here, students, please tell me about a time that you experienced a strong emotion. You can draw a picture, write about it, or send me a video. And then a note to parents, please know that we're very flexible with our school at this time. Please have your students complete this as best as you can with the resources you have available. You can take a picture of your student's drawing and attach it to this assignment. Um, I would say in this day and time with what you got going on, just be as flexible as possible if they can take a picture with their phone or if their students can write something. You know, who knows if this is even something that you'll have graded or just things for them to do with their kids. Uh, moving on, art and math activity. So I just um, found an attachment with um, a coloring sheet and it's got a number by or color by number and so it would be a math and an art activity together. So something that you could post if you had a unit that you're working on. I'm sure you do have units that you're working on. And then I have um, examples from another day. So let's take a look at this one. Here's Eric Carl reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So this could be your book of the day um, and you could have Eric Carl actually reading the book. Hello, I'm Eric Carl, the creator of The Very Hungry so there's the good news is in this day and time, there's so many things that you can do that you could post. Um, for example, if you go to YouTube, um, you could even post links for um, kids yoga and you could add in some activities. There's the Cosmic Kids Yoga. You, I'm sure you teachers that teach elementary, you know so much more than I do. Um, I have some young ones myself, but- Hello, welcome to Cosmic Kids. You can have a link for, you know, an activity that they can do that's a physical activity and, and certain things like that. So maybe the best way to set it up is just to set it up by day. Again, this is just an idea. I am not an elementary teacher, but um, hopefully this helps. I'm sure you have much more creative ideas than I do on this subject. 